okay, I have a drill for you that's going to help you isolate your shoulder turn so you'll know what it feels like to make that shoulder turn level to your spine instead of level to the ground or just an arm or a hand swing. There's two different ways to look at this. You're isolating your shoulders so your hands and arms can't screw up a good shoulder turn or the reverse, your hands and arms won't save a bad shoulder turn during this drill. So that's why it's really good. So either way, this is going to show you what's proper. And the way you do it is, is you just take a normal setup to the ball and you just set your hands straight up like this. And you want to pause for a second. You don't have to pause for as long as I'm talking, but just let it sit there and then just turn the shoulders, okay? From this angle, it looks like this. And as you can see, the shoulders set in an almost perfect position. So you don't have your arms and hands active, okay? So they either can't ruin it or they can't save it. So in other words, if you go like this and then you make a shoulder turn that's too level to the ground, well, you're gonna know that's bad because that's no good over here. So you're gonna be forced to make a good shoulder turn because you don't have your arms or hands involved. 